What's up everyone? This is Ryan McDelty from the Bite That Team. It is May 31st, 2014 and it's time for another weekly filler. Jumping right into the first story, Rey Mysterio's WWE contract was actually set to expire just a few weeks ago, but Vince McMahon has opted to renew it for one more year. Now the contract itself actually didn't even have an option to renew for a year, but I guess the way that it works for their contracts is that if someone's out due to an injury, the contract is essentially frozen so that if they opt to, they can have the superstar make up that missing time. Now WWE feels that with the amount of injuries and missed time Ray has had, that they can essentially make up for that owed time. They feel that he owes it to them. And I guess that contract goes out until May 2015. And even though Rey Mysterio is not on TV, as long as he's still on contract, apparently his downside guarantee is pretty good that whether he's actually on TV or not, he still makes pretty good money. And apparently right now he's actually out with a hand injury. So injuries and Rey Mysterio seem to go together like peanut butter and jelly for lack of a better example. Um, the guy, he's given so much to the business, he really doesn't owe them anything in my opinion. Um, and let's have the guy retire with some dignity then. That's, that's how I feel. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing to only be able to show up a couple weeks at a time and then already be out on injury. So, I mean, I think it's time. Maybe give him one last run, be real careful with him, and then just, you know, give him a, a great Hall of Fame induction because he certainly deserves it. And, and, you know, let him retire with some dignity. In an article from Star Magazine, yes, you heard that right, Star Magazine, something I never thought I'd be covering on this show, Jennifer Hudson, the wife of WWE superstar David Otunga, is reportedly upset that Otunga wants to be a full-time wrestler. Uh, she's worried for his safety and prefers a less hectic schedule of him being a network TV legal analyst. But apparently Otunga wants to live his dream of being a WWE superstar. My question is... What the heck is she worried about? When's the last time we saw David Otunga on TV? Maybe a year ago? Uh, I'm pretty sure she doesn't really have anything to worry about because he pretty much never wrestles. I don't even think he's even on house shows, so I don't know where all this is coming from. Apparently this could be hinting towards his return, but honestly, uh, Otunga man, maybe you should probably be that network TV analyst because your ring work leaves a little bit to be desired. I guess one of the quotes in the article was she felt at the same time, uh, his wife of course, she felt that if I'm living my dream then I guess he should be living his, which is fair, but yeah, David Otenga, how do you guys feel about him? Because honestly, maybe you should stick to the legal work. For the last story of the week, The Undertaker is allegedly still pretty banged up from his WrestleMania 30 match against Brock Lesnar. However, there is still no indication that The Undertaker will not be back for WrestleMania 31. Notice the double negative in there. Basically, this report is hinting that Undertaker could possibly be back for WrestleMania 31. An only call about Undertaker losing at WrestleMania 30. Allegedly, the feeling could be that Vince McMahon actually knew for a while that he wanted Undertaker to lose, but just didn't let anyone know until the last minute. But there is a lot of internal belief that it was still the wrong call to have him lose. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about Undertaker possibly coming back for another match. A lot of people think since he lost at WrestleMania 30 that that's it. But wouldn't we have some sort of hint towards a retirement? Are they just going to wait until WrestleMania season to, to have him officially retire? Or is he actually going to come back for WrestleMania 31? So I want to ask you guys, if Undertaker, how do you feel? Should he retire at WrestleMania 31 or just before during that season? Should he have a match at WrestleMania 31? Do you think that there is another match left in The Undertaker, and if so, who do you want to see him go up against 
at the granddaddy of them all. So let me know in the comments below. That's going to do it for this week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment below. You can click on my screen here to watch the first episode of The Cheap Seat. That is Juan's editorial show, and in this first episode, he talks about CM Punk walking out on WWE and why we should all move on. Also, do not forget that we have the podcast up every single Wednesday on iTunes, Stitcher, and ByteThat.com, and every Thursday on this YouTube channel. You can also follow us at Twitter at ByteThatCast. So that's all I got for you guys this week. My name is Ryan, and you have just been filled in.